Okay, so if you get your client to place their feet in the bowl to start with, is that temperature all right? It's lovely. Yeah. Switch it on your bubbles. Okay, she's got some CND bath soak in there. So when you do your clients, you're going to be using the CND products and you place your mineral bath in the bowl. Okay, and you've got a measurer. Two of those is enough. Don't go mad with the products. So while it's soaking for two or three minutes, um, you can just sit and carry on with your consultation, you know, have a chat with your client, fill in some paperwork, just so they get a little bit of time in the water. Okay, so you take out the client's first foot, anyone will do, place it on your towel, and at this point you're going to cleanse over and have a look for any contraindications. Now the reason we put it in the bowl first is really just so that you can give it a little wash before you actually start. So you're having a look at the client's feet, checking for certain contraindications like athlete's foot, verrucas, anything that's going to prevent you carrying on with your service. Use one wipe per foot. So place that back in the water. And use the same one on each feet. Cut that out. There we go. Right. That's the right one. Is that tapped all right for you? I like that. Okay. Your pedicure is just like a manicure, really but obviously on your feet. Place the foot back in the water, so it's getting a little bit longer time in there. Then you're going to remove the polish, if there is any. So, just for demonstration purposes, we'll just pretend that she has actually got some polish on just to go through the motions. So you put your nail varnish remover on and just gently wipe it off each of the toes. And at the same time, once you've removed the nail varnish, you could be checking to see if there's any um, conditions of the toenail, any dryness, brittleness, even if they've got any fungal infections that are under the toenail, you need to be assessing those areas as well. Place the foot back in the water, and then obviously remove the polish off the other foot. Every time the foot comes out of the bowl, make sure that you towel dry thoroughly and between the toes. So we'll just go through the motions. Obviously, remove the polish and at the same time, check the toenails to make sure that they're, they're okay to carry on. You can check the texture as well to see if they're too soft or... Okay, place your foot back in. So the next stage that you're going to do is clipping and filing the toes. So we're going to take the first foot out. Now this time it's going to stay up a bit longer, so the client's not having to keep lifting their leg up and down. Because if you've got elderly clients, they may not find it too easy to keep going in and out of the water. So we're going to start with clipping the toenails. Make sure you either have a Kleenex or cotton wool to place the toenails onto. Now these clippers here, you only really use the very tip of the clippers. Don't use the whole length because you'll find it very difficult to cut. You really only need to use the tip. These ones are a little bit stiff. But... And you go along and you cut the toenails. I need some more. Can someone get me some more? So work your way along. Make sure you put your thumb over the top because you don't want a toenail flying over your shoulder or in worse places. So always protect the top of the toenail as you're clipping them and then just place any of the toenail into the cotton wool and then dispose of it.
Now, when you're filing the toenails, you need to make sure, really, you're aiming to file them straight across because it prevents your ingrowing toenails. But if there is a little bit of sharpness to the edges, then just gently taper it in. And remember not to zigzag your file, which is what you already know from manicure. Now, with toes, you do have to manoeuvre them out of the way because not all clients can bend and manipulate their toes. Is that all right for you, Kerry? Now, the toenails shouldn't be too long or too short because both can cause ingrowing toenails. So the ideal guide is really to place your thumb on top and if you have to, if you put it straight across, you can't feel the toenail digging into your finger. Some clients will cut their toenails really short and they wonder why they suffer with sore toes. <laughs> Twitching, Kerry, you're right. Right, so once you've filed, you then apply your cuticle cream. Tip your orange wood stick with cotton wool. So this is all showing hygiene. And then just apply a grain of rice size, roughly, of cuticle cream to the toenails. Now, if your client has ridges in the toenails, you could buff prior to doing this, but it's not always necessary in each client's situation. So you just go by what your client's toenails are like. Massage it in. You can't be afraid to touch the toes. You've got to kind of get in there and give them a good massage. Place the foot back in the bowl so the cuticle remover is starting to soak on the cuticles and then remove the, first, the second foot and repeat those stages on that second foot. So remember to dry between the toes. Clip the toenails. Now if your client hasn't got any toenails to clip, just you know, where you haven't spent the time doing that, then you'd modify your service and perhaps spend a minute or two longer on the massage. The client's having a regular pedicure, and for the assessments of VTCT, it's 45 minutes that you get. So you don't want to be finishing in 40 minutes. The client's been cut down. They're paying for a particular time. So just use your um, common sense. And then repeat filing. I'm just tidying up the corners here because they're just a little bit wide and they can have a tendency to be a bit uncomfortable. But general rule, straight across. Sometimes you find clients haven't really got much of a little toenail, but just go over it, just to take off any rough edges. I've still got some cuticle cream on my spatula, so I'll just tip my orange wood stick again and apply the rest of it to this foot. Anything left over, just clean off. Set in the water. Let's have the first foot back out. Now the next stage that you're going to be performing on the toes is the cuticle work. I 
So you can use either a rubber hoof stick or one of your orange sticks just tipped in cotton wool. And then gently push back the cuticles when they're nice and soft and they've just come out of the water. With anything to do with the cuticle work, always make sure you've got your piece of cotton wool in your hand so that you can wipe off any debris or residue onto it. And now we're going to apply cuticle remover. And we're going to clean underneath the toenails as well. Now I'm using the CND um, cuticle razor, but you've also got the um, liquid cuticle remover as well. And I'm just going to apply it by massaging it into the cuticles so that it can really work on breaking down that excess eponychium around the nail. And then I'm going to go back over with the other end of my orange stick and give the toenails a little clean underneath. I'm not using a lot of product here. I don't need a lot. Check with your client that they're comfortable. Check you're not digging too hard. It's quite sensitive under the toes. OK, once you've applied your cuticle remover, you're then going to go on to use your cuticle knife or dual tool, depending on which one you decide to use. So. And because the area is still quite moist, it's okay. But if you feel you need um, extra water, then maybe have some handy on the side so you can dip your tool in there. And what you would do is you'd go around using your tool to lift off excess eponychium around the nail plate, being careful, obviously, not to scratch the toenail. And then just wipe off as you go along. Just get some more water. Be careful, because obviously you don't want to hurt your client. And toenails are a lot smaller in some cases than fingernails, so you've got a smaller area to work on. Once you've used your jaw tool, you then move on to your nippers like you're doing your manicure and you go around and you remove any excess hangnails, well, the hard bits of skin around the toenail that haven't quite come off with the jaw tool. got a little bit of skin there I'll just get rid of that so it looks nice and neat if there isn't anything to take off don't just avoid using the nippers go around and check thoroughly it's another thing that you know your clients will feel like they've missed out on something if they're used to having pedicures even if there's nothing to take off go around and check with your nippers in your hand I'm surprised with what clients would say if they think that you haven't done it you know Once I've done the cuticles, I'm now going to foot rasp. And we're doing all of this on one foot because, again, it's just more client comfort. So I'm going to use a piece of couch roll on my lap, place the client's foot on there, 